How's it going, Green Dragon? Out and about. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been going through some shit with the personal life that has nothing to do with the dragon, nothing to do with the internet, nothing to do with yada yada yada. So that's one of the reasons why I wasn't on Sunday. But I am doing one tonight, okay, and uh, hopefully Tony can get some of the people he wants to talk to on there, which would be awesome. But I don't see it happening. But it is what it is, you know. So we're going to do what we can do, right? Now I'm out and about doing a little scouting, a little traveling, and picking a little cab driver, basically. And, uh... So I just want to let y'all know that, that yes, we're going to do a dragon tonight. Uh, what's going to be about? Well, I don't even know. Does anybody know what it's going to be about? I mean, there's plenty of topics to talk about. Right? The crap going on, the continuation of the Bundy rants, the constant misinformation that the propaganda machines are putting out. Right? And the fact that, you know what, really, we have to come to face the fact that uh, nobody's going to fucking stand with us. Okay? When you stand, nobody's going to stand with you. Oh, they'll, they'll fucking talk that they'll stand, they'll talk all kinds of shit, right, on how they're going to, what they're going to do. Right? But ain't nobody going to stand with you. Look at that bullshit that's going on with fucking you and, uh, with Tony and, or everybody and Maine Prepper. Right? The dude's still so sucked up in the co in the Kool-Aid that, uh, you know, he's never going to fucking change. Okay? It's just that fucking simple. You know? Who's going to stand with us? Nobody. Who's going to stand against us? Everybody. The same with the fucking, uh, with our founding fathers. Remember that. We hear 3%. That means 97% didn't stand with them. Okay, and all the people that tell me, oh, you have to follow the law, well, guess what? It was the law to pay the tax on the tea. It was the law to give up your firearms to the king when he demanded it. It was the law to do all the things that people constantly say that they fought against. Okay, and before they had a revolution, they were breaking the law. They were criminals. Okay, the founding fathers were terrorists and criminals, according to the government of Great Britain, okay? So, now, we are terrorists and criminals according to the government of the United States. Just because somebody fucking makes it, writes, you know, words down on paper, does not make it real. Okay, I can write, I can write checks all day for millions of dollars, and guess what? Huh, they ain't worth the fucking paper they're printed on. And the same goes with laws. Plenty of laws are written down that aren't worth the fucking paper they're printed on. Okay, and nobody ever wants to talk about that. So why don't we talk about that some tonight, okay? Laws that aren't worth the paper they're printed on. Alright? I'll see you then. Alright, so... This is an ad to, as I'm waiting... Uh, to pick up my daughter at work... Anyway, so, these laws, I mean, I was listening today to some libtard speaking on the Bundy Ranch situation, and of course, they constantly bring up, well, it's the law, well, it's the law, well, it's the law, Bundy's got to follow the law, why doesn't he follow the law, he took it to court, the court said that he has to follow the law, okay, you know, we're supposedly a nation of laws, right, so that's what people say, but then when it comes to the immigration situation, Right, the fact that 20 some odd years ago Reagan changed the law to allow the people that were in the country, right, to be to have an easier path to citizenship. Well, then what happened? Right, after the after Reagan did that, what happened? Well, guess what? More people kept coming in, more people keep coming in, and yet they break the law, and the, that law, the immigration laws of our country don't matter. Just like the laws they passed under Bush where we had to build a fence down south. Well, it's not done. So that law didn't matter. Right? Another law in the Constitution 
right? The Fourth Amendment to the Constitution is a law, right? It talks about unreasonable search and seizure. But that's not a law that the government has to follow, right? They don't have to follow that at all. They get the court to change the law to, or to reinterpret it or to go with a historical precedent, and that way they don't have to actually follow it, right? Same goes with the Second Amendment, right? That whole shall not be infringed part never seems to sink into anybody's fucking head. Right? It's been law of the land since the land became the United States. But, not a law anybody wants to follow. There's multiple laws on our books that nobody wants to follow. And so they don't. Especially the government. The government and the people who run the government only follow the laws that they want to. They don't even follow the fucking laws that apply to them. So that's particularly what I do want to talk about tonight. I've come to the conclusion, finishing my drive, going to pick up my, coming to pick up my daughter, is that that's what I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about the fact that laws are written and by men and only followed by some men. And in reality, the law only applies to us, the subjects. It doesn't apply to the lawmakers, and it sure as fuck doesn't imply, uh, apply to the law enforcers. So that's why I don't follow the law. Now, as I've tried to explain to people multiple times, it's Green Dragon, and why a lot of people think I'm full of shit, and whatever, is because my whole life, I have not followed laws that I didn't fucking believe in. Okay, as a kid I jumped turnstiles because I felt my transportation should be free. I, you know, jaywalk, smoke where I'm not supposed to, carry a gun when I'm not supposed to. Okay, there's plenty of laws that I don't agree with and as a free man, I don't follow. Now, by not following the laws, if I get caught not following the laws or if somebody wants to press charges on me or whatever, will I have to deal with that as... Will I have to deal with that? And is that my responsibility? Yes, it is. But I know that. And I do it knowingly. Okay? So, I don't know what to tell anybody else about how to live. Because I can't even tell my own damn kids how to live. Right? But I know we can talk about it. And we will tonight at the Dragon. So, here's the, here's the key to it. Are laws any more than words on paper? Are they? I guess we'll talk about it tonight, huh? Because some laws apply to us, and no laws apply to them. The overseers of this giant slavery plantation we now call America. Because that's all we are. Right? One way or another, you're a slave to something. Right? You're a slave to the government. You're a slave to your job. You're a fucking slave. And no matter how much you want to try and say you're not, well, try and do shit. You know, if you're in Illinois, carry a, open carry a gun. Tell me you're not a slave. Tell me they're not going to swoop down and arrest you. Okay? Try jaywalking in a major city. See if you're not a slave. See if they're not going to lock you down for not following one of their fucking rules. Alright? One quick note to all people in Pennsylvania... I hope you have a way to lock your phone instantly whenever you're pulled over. Because they have the right to go searching through your car. And the Supreme Court is going to be giving the right to these fucking Nazis the right to search your phone. Without a warrant. Without any of it. You watch. That's what's up on the Supreme Court this week. And you watch how that decision will roll. It's going to roll like every other decision in the that's in my lifetime right it's rolled towards authoritarianism anyway so throw away those fucking cell phones <laughs> that's what I do okay that's what I've, I did five years ago I haven't had a cell phone for five years and I don't regret it a day see you tonight